And hello everyone. Welcome. This is Peter, like always. You know how it is. So today, of course, I have my book in front of me, and I'm drawing a couple more pictures on a couple more pages of it. And these two drawings are kind of experimental and exploratory in some ways. You'll see it, mostly in the drawing on the second page, that I was just doing a bunch of cross-hatching. Um, it's a fun thing to practice, at least for me. Sometimes when I'm watching a show on Netflix or something, I'll just have a sketch pad and a pen, and I'll fill the whole page with cross-hatching. If you don't know how to do it, just look it up on Google or something. I'm sure there are some really simple directions. It's really easy. And keep in mind that there are tons of different ways to do it. Uh, I don't think you can really mess up or do it wrong. It's a really broad term. But yeah, I really like it. Just drawing all these little parallel lines. Uh, I'm not even sure why, but there's something really satisfying. Just something cathartic about it. You know, it's good to have a strong style or certain way of drawing or certain things you're really good at that you normally draw. It's good to have something like that in the bag, uh, maybe something you're known for, something uh, you're comfortable with drawing that you can always go back to and work with if you need reliability. But I think it's also important to continue to try new things from time to time, even if it's just in little ways. You know, I'm not saying if you normally like drawing, say, pictures of people's faces with a pencil. Uh, I'm not saying you need to go get some oil paints and start doing abstract landscapes or something crazy. I'm, I'm suggesting maybe just add in a little twist, like using some colored pencils as well, or maybe try doing some port portraits of animals, or try doing the same thing you usually do but twice as big on a dry erase board with marker. Or, or, I don't know, something. Uh, just don't get stuck in a rut. Ruts aren't good for anyone. Well, except for people who make money from repairing roads. And the people who pull people out of ruts, I suppose. Anyways. With all that in mind, some parts of life are like a strange circus act that sometimes takes some finesse. So don't get caught up in so many new things that you never take the time to refine any one part or style or technique in your art. I'm a firm believer in the value of practice. I'm sure many of you have heard the Bruce Lee quote uh, before where he said, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. If you ask me what the best advice um, is that I could give to someone who wants to get better at drawing, or better at anything, I'm going to say, just do it a lot. I don't have any tips or tricks that are going to make it a bunch easier or get you there a lot faster. But I will say, I will say that it really helps when it's something you love doing. Unfortunately, it's probably going to feel like a kind of, it's going to feel like a bit of a grind if in your mind you're categorizing these activities primarily as practice or stuff I got to do to get better instead of saying, wow, I love drawing, so I'm going to go do that some more. In my experience, there's room for two kinds of drawing, uh, and both are important. There's what I'll call recreational drawing, when I just draw whatever I want, you know, whatever I feel like, when I just let my imagination take me away and I have a blast and everything is amazing and incredible. And this is the kind of drawing I do the vast majority of the time. It might sound weird to say it, but I actually regret that some because it means I do barely any of the other kind of drawing, which I guess I'll call uh, studious drawing. The kind of drawing that maybe isn't always quite as fun that I categorize in my mind as practice. This is different for everyone, because everyone likes drawing 
different things. Um, so some things get left out. And then, when you have the desire to be a well-rounded and proficient artist, they kind of become a chore. Uh, for me, this would be drawing people, a very significant part of the art universe, and something I constantly need to work on more. You'll notice that I hardly ever, if at all, have any people in my drawings. But that's a whole nother can of worms. <laughs> people. People are crazy. And incredible. But it's exciting to have huge areas like that to expand and improve in. Anyways, that's all for today. Be sure to turn in your homework before you leave. Bye.